Work done in physics. Let's look at this example of a little person here pushing a big block along a frictionless floor. There they go, they start to push along and the block moves. Now in the world of physics we say that the force provided by the person pushing the block has done work on the block. We say that energy has been transferred. So if you've got a force applied to an object and that force makes the object move, then we say work has been done by the force on that object. Now consider this, if the person pushed with all their might, with a force, sweat was coming out their forehead, but the block didn't move, there'd be no work done on the block. Because in the world of physics, work can only be done if a force moves an object. So that's the first key point. If a force moves an object, a distance, then work is done on the object. And we can think of work being done on the object as energy being transferred to the object by the force. And remember, energy really is defined as a strange quantity which has the ability to do work. So you can see how the two are linked together. So if a force moves an object a certain distance, then we say work has been done on that object only if the force moves the block through a certain distance. Now, in the world of physics, we have a way of finding a number associated with that, and we call this the work done EW. And EW is really equal to the size of the force, its magnitude, times its distance the force moved the object. So EW equals F times D. Now, if we look at the units for the work done on an object, we find out that force is a newton, and the distance gone is a metre. So the units for the work done in an object is a newton metre. But since work done is really a form of energy transfer, then the newton metre can be equated to the joule. And in many cases, it's actually quite useful to think of the work done by an object in terms of the unit newton metre. So let's recap again. If a force does work on an object, it moves it through a distance. And that work done is like an energy being transferred to that object. The units of work done are newton metres, which is equivalent to energy transfer and energy is measured in joules. So if the newton metre is equal to one joule. Here's an example of someone pushing a block with a force of 15 newtons through a distance of 2 metres. In the world of physics, we say that work has been done on the block by the force. And we can calculate the work done on the block by the force by using this little equation here. The work done is equal to the force times the distance. If we put in the numbers, we get the following. We have applied a 50 newton force and the block has moved a distance of 2 metres. Therefore, the work done is 15 newtons times 2 metres. And that comes out to be the work done to be 30 newton metres. Now, we know that work done is a transfer of energy. Therefore, that 30 newton metres, we can change that into 30 joules. So we say the force which has moved this block through a distance of 15 or 2 metres has done 30 joules of work on the block. And that energy has come up or shown itself in the form of movement because the block has moved. So work done is energy transferred. In this case, the 15 newton force which has moved the block through 2 metres has done 30 joules of work on the block. Let's look at this example. The person applies a force of 35 newtons to a block, moves it through a certain distance d, and the work done on the block by the force amounts to 70 joules. Our problem is, how far did he move the block so as that the work done on it amounts to 70 joules? Well, we can start off with our basic equation, that Ew equals the force times the distance. And we can fill in all the stuff that we know. We know that Ew is going to be equal to 70 joules. 
We know the force applied is the same all the way throughout the push as 35 newtons. So all we have to do is rearrange this equation here in terms of what d is. And you can see that distance d is going to be equal to the work done on the block by the force divided by the force itself. So we put in our numbers. We have EW is 70 joules. But remember, we can put that as 70 newton meters. That's the alternative unit for the joule. And divide that by the force of 35 newtons. And you can see that the units cancel to give us meters, which is correct. So the distance that block must have moved was 70 divided by 35 would be 2 meters. So in order to transfer 70 joules, that force of 35 newtons moves the block through a distance of 2 meters. OK, so let us recap about work done. When a force is applied to an object and that force moves the object through a distance of d meters, we say work has been done by the force on that object. Energy has been transferred by the force onto that object. We say that the equation, to link it all up, is Ew equals F times D. Ew being the work done, F being the force, and D being the distance which the object was moved by the force. The units for work done are usually newton meters because force is measured in newtons and M is the units for distance. But because the work done is really energy transferred to the object, then the newton meter has got an equivalent unit of the joule. The joule was the unit for energy. Now remember that if the person applying the force, and if that force does not move the object, then no work has been done on that object, because the distance moved by the object is zero. So if the object does not move, even though the person is pushing as hard as they can with a bigger, bigger force and sweat is coming out of their brow, no work has been done in terms of physics on the block. Because for work to be done on the block, the force being applied to the block must move it through a certain distance. So work done is equal to the force times the distance. If a force moves an object a distance, then we say in the world of physics, work is done on that object. Physics is wonderful. Physics is cool.